All right, we've looked at the classical way, the standard way that you can use the, the armpit lock, the wacky gatami, both in the standing position and in the ground position. It's a really versatile and one of your more high percentage locks. So the opportunity to use it happens quite a bit from the low and mid levels of force all the way to higher levels as we talked about with weapons. So now what we want to look at, it's just different grips, different ways that you're going to find yourself getting into this lock and you'll see how it fits in to the uh, top 10 series that we did. All the different escapes will often lead to this lock. So let's look at it in detail. Uh, to start at the very top or if you like the bottom of the force level, again he's giving me that finger. If you have a finger and I grab his finger, it's, I can pull him right to the wacky gatami using his finger. Now at this point I'm, I'm pulling upward like this so I would switch to his wrist, but I've got the same lock here. I don't have to grab at his wrist in the standard way. Anytime I get something like this, I can use the pain to pull him forward, put the other hand on it, pull him off balance, and like I say, once I get here, I'm kind of going the wrong way, so I need to switch to a wrist lock, and then I've got the two for one here. I can break it there, or I can sit out to the ground one like we did. That's a nice, simple one. Now from the push, You've got the classic way if you are late. So that's by its nature your second choice. When he pushes me, I would prefer to move past him. More likely you're gonna to have to augment that with your sliding hand. Either the web of your hand, again, one more, or your forearm. Those are the two ways that you can buy yourself a little bit more time as you try and go around the guy. Okay? Now if I use either of those, I can slide along his forearm like this, or I can block it like this and push it across. Either one allows me to hook it here, okay? I don't have to grope for it with my hand. It, it, it works in real time quite fast. So when the guy comes here, I just catch his arm in the crook of my arm instead of trying to grab it here. So you can see it's the same lock. This arm also doesn't bother reaching back here. As I pull the guy off balance, I use my chest to straighten his arm before I put pressure and this arm just swings over top. I can push his head away and I can do the same lock here just using this motion instead of having to use my actual hand.